What's up lads, Josh here and welcome back to yet another episode of A Bale's Road to Glory. This is episode 18 and if you guys are looking to buy some coins to, you know, to obviously get any players that you want on all the team, check the link in the description for the game keys. They're selling for about £7.50 on the Xbox and £8.50 on the PlayStation. Use the code JJ94 to get 5% off. And now let's get straight into this video and let's talk about the signings that I have made. We've made one so far. Actually, no, this is our second. We've made the first one that was Miranda for our second centre-back. Our CDM replacement for Camucho. We've actually got Kadira. A lot of people were telling me to get Xabi Alonso and Kadira and, and probably the majority said Kadira so I've gone with Kadira for the CDM role, uh, Miranda for the centre back and the left mid I've actually gone for De Santos even though most people told me to get David Villa for that left mid role he's just costing a little bit too much and I don't want to sort of grind out that amount of coins so uh, I want to get this series done and dusted by like two or three more episodes and obviously then we can start off with some more Thresh content because not like I, I still enjoy the, doing the Road to Glories but when, the, when an episode goes on for like or when a series goes on for like 20 plus episodes in my opinion it can get a little bit repetitive and boring and I love to start like the start of Road to Glories is the fun for me like when I'm playing with bronze and silver teams when it gets to this stage it's not as fun but anyway let's get straight into the uh, game and of course we're against a 100 chemistry Russian league team and he's actually got really slow center back he's got uh, Douglas and Samba I think that his center backs like Samba's like 52 pace and uh, Douglas is like 62 pace or something very very slow center backs so I was feeling quite confident about this game and it's 1-1 at this stage he scores a header I score a re um, an equalizer literally two minutes later with Isco a really fantastic run here with Diego Costa completely beating his defender because he's that slow and we've you know we've actually we've got a lot of pace behind this team and uh, it can quite easily beat these amount of like pace defenders so uh, unfortunately for him, he does actually slide in with Samba, making a really rash tackle, and uh, I'm able to skip around him with Diego Costa and a really nice left footed finesse around the goalkeeper. And unfortunately for him, his defender could not block it um, just past the goalkeeper, and that makes me go 2 1 up. But unfortunately, I do make a little bit of a blunder, a little bit of an error here with Kadira on his debut. I do actually get him a red card. That's completely my fault. Um, I, I knew I was going to get a red card for that. For some reason, I just sort of uh, kept tapping B, you know, when you're sort of like pressing them down and that sort of happens so yeah that kind of that's kind of my fault and Kadira will miss the next game for because of that I guess we'll have to get Camucho back in the next game uh, and for some reason he goes short with his uh, with his free kick in the 89th minute completely messes up I'm 2-1 up already Bale's just gonna cheekily slot that in to an open net 3-1 up and that pretty much is the game unfortunately for him there was no comeback I, you know he was playing pretty well up front but his defense was absolutely appalling because it's you know you can't have two two really low pace defenders in my opinion on this game you can use one low pace defender say like Vidic is like 57 pace and then if you use like Kabul or David Luiz next to him I think that's absolutely fine you can have like one low pace defender and one high pace defender and that will work you know superbly because one will be good you know one will be better at heading and defensive stats and one will you know obviously be there for the pace uh, to catch up to the quicker players um, but honestly I definitely do not recommend two low pace defenders like this guy did but I guess he I guess he probably could have got a Bichette and uh, maybe some other centre backs but I don't know I guess he don't really care about pace but anyway let's get straight into uh, let's get uh, into some more signings we're actually going to sell all of our silvers this is the last remaining silvers that we had to sell we sold Miguel Falano uh, Juanfran I think and Omar Ramos and now we've got 2.8 thousand coins or 2,800 coins sorry and uh, that is completely just enough for our right mid purchase and it is going to be Sanchez from Barcelona I think a lot of people were also telling me to buy Pedro but he's like 6... Uh, I think he's about 4,500 to 5,000 coins. And like I said, I'm, I'm trying to keep like cheap players into this squad. So I'm not having to grind out loads of coins to get this uh, series finished. But as you can see, Kadira, unfortunately, getting that red card is going to have to miss this game. And Camucho goes back into the game pretty much for his final game. Because I can't imagine I'll get any more red cards with Kadira. Unless I, you know, get a bit cheeky on the tackles again. But uh, we're going to go into another game. And uh, the, the latency was a little bit shit on this game. I'm not going to lie. It was like a 2 to 3 bar. Um, but on to the next game. And he's got a full 100 chemistry Serie A team with Inform Rossi up front. And the main reason that I think I won this game was because of Totti. Um, he's 57 pace and my defenders constantly caught up to him. And this guy only seemed to play it down the left side. It really didn't make too much sense because Totti is not the fastest players. And uh, I think if he'd have played a better left wing, I think he would have 
stood a much better chance to get back into this game. But we go 1-0 up with a really fantastic bail, sort of side volley, um, half volley kick uh, in the in the 11th minute to make me go 1-0 up. And a really fantastic through ball over the top for Isco. Can he finish it? Unfortunately, it is a fantastic save there from Buffon. And I just absolutely love what the hell Diego Costa did there. It was like some strange bicycle kick. If you rewind, you'll see it. It's, it's, it's so hilarious just because it was never going to get to it. But uh, Diego Costa, once again, four minutes later after that fantastic opportunity with Isco. Unfortunately, it does just bounce on top of the net from that lovely chipped attempt from just outside the box. And a really, fa a really fantastic through ball over the top to Bale. A fantastic little fake shot. And unfortunately, uh, Juventus goalkeeper, of course, uh, Buffon. I don't know why I said Juventus goalkeeper. Um, but Buffon absolutely made a fantastic save there. But unfortunately for him, he's not going to be able to save this. A really fantastic cross into the box from Bale uh, from the corner. And of course, Pepe is going to make me go 2-0 up in the 62nd minute absolutely destroying him and he completely goes to pass it around at the back never do this guys uh, passing it around the back always results always results in some sort of uh, defeat like this and uh, you'll just give away possession and you'll lose by even more goals so 3-1 uh, 3-0 up at this stage and unfortunately he does decide to rage quit and that's pretty much it for this episode I didn't really feel like playing anymore and there was no more signings to be made but it's completely down to you guys now we need two more players we need a right back and we need a left back I'm thinking Jordi Alba and Juan Fran for the right back. So Juan Fran on the right back, Jordi Alba on the left back. Let me know uh, if you, if there's any other sort of players that you would like me to get on the right back and the left back. Uh, and as soon as we've got that uh, in the next episode, then after that will be the finale where I try and beat the Gold Cup uh, four games in a row. And uh, if we do that, then the series is over. So quite looking forward to ending the series and starting something new. Let me know if you've got any ideas for the next Road to Glory. I'm thinking a Legend card, maybe Team of the Year card. I'm really not too sure, but we'll have to see. And uh, we'll talk more about that a little bit later on. So thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy it, leave a like, rate, and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Follow me on Twitter, at 4 And apart from that, guys, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.